And tonight, we begin in the D.C. swamp, where yet again it's Washington versus the rest of us, as our sense of sovereignty and our sense of safety and our sense of security are all under attack. And the culprits, sadly, are our own elected leaders, who ca just can't be bothered to care. Because as it turns out, the massive $1.7 trillion omnibus spending bill, woo, being rammed through Congress, does little to nothing for, as an example, U.S. border security. All while Democrats, and frankly, some Senate Republicans, of course, continue to shrug off the worst border crisis in modern American history. That is hurting Americans more and more by the day. Yet again this week, video shows illegal migrants pouring across the border, overwhelming authorities with no end in sight. And get this, in just the last year, there were well over 100,000 overdose deaths here in the United States as drugs continue to pour across the southern border and take innocent American lives. In 2022 alone, the DEA seized enough fentanyl, everybody, get this, to kill everybody in our entire country. But for the far-left Democrats, it's low on the list of priorities, as Senate Democrats for the third time blocked Republican Senator Bill Haggerty's legislation to crack down on fentanyl crossing the border. And remember, Biden's border crisis is so bad that every state, of course, is now a border state. Cities across the country are bracing for an even worse influx once Title 42 border protections are eventually lifted. For example, New York City Mayor Eric Adams is predicting that over 1,000 migrants a week will arrive in New York City early next year. With the mayor warning that the surge will impact access to basic services meant for New York City's legal residents, which are, of course, already a problem here. This is a crisis caused by Joe Biden, enabled by Joe Biden, and getting worse under Joe Biden and the Democrats. But many elected leaders, they don't seem to care, as once again in Washington, the interests of everyday Americans take a back seat to the interests of the swamp. Here for reaction? Someone you know and like and trust, former Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. Welcome aboard. You know, look, you, when you left the Democratic Party, you mentioned that you were getting the sense, and it was unacceptable to you, that Washington had stopped caring about average Americans, about regular people. Uh, with what I opened with here, what's your take on where we stand right now? Yeah, I mean, you're exactly right, Tammy. That's really what's at the heart of this, is we have... Democrats and Republicans, frankly, in Congress who are failing at their most basic and foremost responsibility, which is to ensure the safety, security and freedom of the American people. And that starts with securing our border. We don't have a country if we don't have a secure border. Now, you talked about this $1.7 trillion funding bill that the Senate just passed and the House will pass very likely soon. Well, there's there's about $1.5 billion there that's been set aside for Customs and Border Protection border security. The problem is, the language also says they're not actually allowed to use any of that money to secure the border. They can't use it to <laughs> right. expand their security capabilities. <laughs> so when you look at what they're actually doing, ultimately they either don't care, as you said, or they are purely incompetent. Either way, they're failing at their jobs. They either need to step up to the plate and do their job or they need to be replaced. You know, it's fascinating. It's one thing to put it in without specifying what it should be used for. But they go out of their way to say, don't use it for security, don't touch that. And, and in the meantime, exactly. you know, every issue that we find at the border, Tulsi, relates to every major issue in the country. Crime, uh, the, the wage gap problem, uh, the, the, the diseases, health issues, uh, inflation, the economy in general. Uh, it, it's like every the housing issues, right? You've got p people putting the migrants in hotels and the homeless in hotels. We've got veterans now yeah. still on the street. But we, we, I think the American people don't realize what's happening at the border and really how it is linked to every single thing that we're facing and what American families are dealing with. And, and Tammy, as you're, look, as you're listing out all of these challenges that, that are facing just about every community across this country, look, I served in the municipal government. I was on the Honolulu City Council. I served in the state legislature and in Congress for eight years. So often, we are told in our communities, sorry from the federal government, there's just not enough money. Right. As we see in this $1.7 trillion bill, they're sending hundreds of millions of dollars to secure other countries' borders. Mm -hmm. They're spending an incredible amount of money to feed into the military-industrial complex, but not willing to do what is necessary to secure our own border and support 
support the needs of the American people uh, right here at home. There's a lot to be done at the border. There's a lot that should be done at the border. Things like, hey, let's deploy more of the National Guard that you're seeing on the screen right there to actually supplement and provide this immediate need to help secure our border. Uh, fix this broken asylum process. Send a message very clear, both from our elected leaders and those who want to serve in office to the world, saying from here on out, if anyone comes across our border illegally, you will be immediately deported and you will not be allowed to re-enter our country. Period. You, you know, Todd, Full th stop. This, you, this release of Title 42 has been an incentive. So regardless of what happens yes. with this point of, uh, of uh, temporarily stopping it from the Supreme Court, it's too late. This has been going on for months, this lead up. And you remember uh, when this first began, when Biden first came in, they called, I, what was it uh, El Paso, the new Ellis Island? Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. I mean, that was an invitation, yes, if I ever heard one. Exactly. And the, they have the audacity over and over again to say, oh, no, our borders are, are not open. We don't have open borders. You look at the proof and you look at the crisis that we are facing at the border right now. As you mentioned, people, literally thousands of people crossing hour over hour waiting for this uh, Supreme Court hold mm -hmm. on Title 42 to be lifted in anticipation that they will be able to walk straight through without any repercussions whatsoever, because that's exactly what's been happening. Yeah, and the, the money, I have to say, thank you so much for joining us tonight. The little bit of money that they're sending, it's like we're turning into a big travel agency, because it's about facilitating their entry and then distributing them into the interior of the country. Tulsi, great job. Great to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.